What's up, scampers? Welcome back to another video. Winter has finally let go of its icy grip. I'm ready to go camping. I'm gonna dewinterize this thing. Let's get right to it. The first thing I'm gonna do is plug in my trailer. I will be using my water pump for this process, and since I'm going camping soon, I might as well charge my battery while I'm at it instead of draining it. With this 30 amp to 15 amp adapter, I can plug my trailer right into the 110 outlet that I have here at home. The next thing I'm going to do is locate this valve that is directly under the freshwater tank in the scamp. It should be on the passenger side, just directly below where the freshwater tank is stored under the bench seat. I'll place this bucket underneath it to catch the old antifreeze when it runs out and open it up. And once it's completely done draining, I'm just going to be sure and close the valve so I don't forget to do that later. Next, I'm going to put a significant amount of water into my freshwater tank with this hose and this opening at the back of the trailer that you place the hose into. Not the city water connection on the side of the trailer like you would hook up if you were hooking up at a campground. You shouldn't have to screw it on and get a tight fit for this. You should just be able to place it into the opening that goes directly into your freshwater tank. Next, if you're like me and you've been storing your trailer with the battery turned off, you're going to want to flip this open and turn your battery back on. Next, you're going to want to come over to your control panel and flip on your fresh water pump. Again, this is another reason why I plugged in because I want to make sure I have enough battery power for this. And if my trailer's been in storage, I want to make sure I'm topping it off while I'm doing it as well. And pro tip, if your battery monitor is bright enough to land a plane like mine is, hang a piece of foam over it. Game changer. Now I'm going to turn on my kitchen sink and run water through it until I see it flush clear. No more pink, free of all the antifreeze that was in the line. Now I'm going to do the bathroom fixtures. Being sure to turn on the drain pump when I run water through the shower fixture. And make sure to give that a good rinse because that pink antifreeze can actually stain the fiberglass at the bottom of the base of there. And if you've got an outdoor shower, don't forget to flush this one as well. Now I can turn off the water pump. Now I've come to my city water connection to bleed the city water line. And if there's pressure in here, it's gonna shoot out really quick. So you wanna make sure that you stand back when you do this one. First, you take out the screen, that little filter that's in there. Make sure you stand way back, press. That relieves the pressure in there and flushes that out. Put your screen back in. Now I'm just gonna replace the batteries that I removed before winter struck to keep them from corroding or going dead while they were just hanging out out here in the cold. These came from my remote for the fan and my thermostat. I'm just gonna replace those.
The very last thing I'm going to do is to sanitize the fresh water tank and all of the plumbing that's in the trailer. If you don't drink out of your fresh water tank, this step might not be necessary for you, but I brush my teeth with the water and I wash my dishes with it occasionally, so I want to make sure that it's sanitized and safe to be ingested. A lot of people choose to use bleach to sanitize their pipes and their system, but I have a bleach sensitivity, so I got something that is specific for cleaning fresh water tanks and RVs out. Um, but it is difficult to pour things directly in here when they're not coming from a hose, so taking inspiration from my college days, created a device to help get the solution in there. So I can put this in here, use my cleaning solution, get that in there. Then I'll just fill my tank with water again and repeat the exact same process I used to dewinterize it, dump my holding tanks, and I'm ready to go camping. I hope this helped. Check out my other videos while you're here. I'll see you in the next one.